welcome back to my channel and welcome to a super fun video. I'm going to be sharing with you easy crock pot meals. It is a busy time of year with a new year starting, a new year, a new you. And it, again, it's just such a busy time of year that I wanted to share some recipes that make your life just a little bit easier, but also help you stay on plan, on track, and lose weight in the new year. So I have some absolutely amazing crock pot recipes coming your way. So if you wanna see what I have in store, just stay tuned. First you're going to need either some breadcrumbs or some stuffing. I actually prefer to use this Pepperidge Farms Herb Seasoned Classic Stuffing in meatloaf meatballs it adds such great flavor and it is less points than breadcrumbs seriously you guys it is a game changer when it comes to a binding agent for meat so love using the stuffing for that you'll also need some salt garlic powder i'm going to be doing minced onion you can also chop up a fresh onion whatever your preference is i just like the onion pieces really small anyways and this is a huge time saver You'll also need two pounds of extra lean ground beef. So I have some 96.4. I have one pound from Trader Joe's, one pound from Fred Meyer. You'll need some Parmesan cheese, fat-free shredded cheese, and lastly, a couple of eggs. So let's get started on our crock pot meatloaf. So in my bowl, I've added my two pounds of extra lean ground beef. I'm gonna go ahead and add in one cup of the stuffing mix. Again, you can use breadcrumbs, but try the stuffing mix, you guys. It's really delicious. I'm also going to add in two eggs and I'm going to add in half of a cup of Parmesan cheese, which is funny, exactly what I had left in my container. And then I'm going to go ahead and add those minced onions. This is also where you would add in your fresh onion. If you went that route, we're also going to add in a little bit of garlic powder. And then lastly, we're going to add in a little bit of salt, mix this all together and form our meatloaf. Before we form it into a loaf, we're also going to go ahead and add in one half of a cup of fat-free cheddar cheese. Dig in with your hands. I know it's not the most pleasant thing, but it definitely makes it a lot easier to mix everything together and really, really form that meat into a loaf. And then we're going to line our crock pot with some aluminum foil. I'm going to show you a little trick on how you can make a little boat for your meatloaf in your crock pot. I learned this because I do not have a bread pan that is small enough to fit into my crock pot. So I had to improvise one time and I now know that that works just as well to cook meatloaf and things like that in your crock pot. Meatballs, it would work for meatballs as well. And really anything that you just don't want sitting in the base of your crock pot. So let me get this all mixed together. We'll form that loaf and get it into the crock pot. So here is the completed dinner. So what I did is I went ahead and cut the meatloaf into eight pieces because the meatloaf itself makes eight servings. So this is one eighth of the meatloaf and that is only five smart points. So it's quite a thick chunk of meatloaf. And then I have one serving of the Idaho and baby red potatoes and those are four smart points. So this is a nine smart point dinner. First, you're going to need some Bisquick pancake and baking mix. I'm going to be using the Heart Smart. It's just a little bit less point heavy than regular Bisquick. Taco seasoning, milk or milk alternative of your choice. Salsa, this is one of my favorites, the Kroger Thick and Chunky Mild. It's super good and not spicy, which is great for us. You'll need some diced tomatoes. I always buy no salt added. I'm gonna be using fat-free shredded cheese, 96.4 extra lean ground beef, and an onion. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and cook down our hamburger and our onions. So I have my pound of 96.4 extra lean ground beef. 
We're gonna add that to a pan. And then I went ahead and just diced up my onion and we're gonna go ahead and add that as well. And we're gonna let the hamburger brown and the onion cook through. Once your hamburger is browned and you've drained any excess grease, you're gonna go ahead and add it directly to your crock pot. To our hamburger and onion mix, we're gonna add in our can of diced tomatoes. And then the recipe also calls for three quarters of a cup of salsa. I may put a little bit more than that in there just because I wanna make sure that I have enough liquid while we cook this down. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and add in some taco seasoning. It calls for a package. You can go ahead and do it to your liking. Give this a quick stir, and then we're gonna put this on low for five to six hours. And then we'll come back and add our cheese and make that biscuit upside down taco casserole crust. All right, we're ready to move to the next step. This smells really good, so I'm gonna give it a quick stir together, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in one cup of our fat-free shredded cheese. Just kind of sprinkle that over the top. Let that melt a little bit, and then we're gonna put together the biscuit, which is going to be the crust of our upside-down taco pie. So I have two cups of my Bisquick Heart Healthy Mix here in my measuring cup, two thirds cup of my Fair Life Milk, and we're just gonna mix this right here in my big measuring cup together until we don't have any more lumps, and then we're gonna pour that over the top of our taco pie. So here's what our mix looks like once we've mixed the Bisquick and the milk. Our casserole looks really good. So basically what we're going to do is spoon the mixture on top of the taco pie and we're just going to spread it into a nice even layer so it forms a crust. So here's our crust put over the top of our taco pie. So we're gonna go ahead and put our lid back on and we're gonna keep this on low for about another 30 to 45 minutes and let that crust cook through. All right, look at that. That biscuit top looks amazing it is done we just want to cook it until it doesn't look doughy anymore so we're going to go ahead and plate this up this whole crock pot only makes six servings so i'm going to get this plated up and i'll be back to show you one sixth of the recipe and give you the smart points all right so here's one sixth of the upside down taco pie this is only seven smart points, and that's made with ground beef, cheese, and that delicious biscuit top. You could pair this with some guacamole, sour cream, taco sauce. It has a lot of flavor as is, so I'm actually not going to add anything to mine, but again, six servings, seven smart points. First, you're going to need chicken breasts. I have four pretty good sized chicken breasts here. Potatoes, I'm gonna do these petite gold gourmet potatoes. Light butter, Parmesan cheese, garlic, parsley and thyme, as well as salt and pepper. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing I did is line my crock pot with a crock pot liner. It just makes for much easier cleanup. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my bag of baby potatoes in the very bottom of my crock pot. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of light butter, and then I'm going to stir the butter and the potatoes together. You just kind of want to make sure those potatoes get coated in the butter. So you want your butter softened. So just take it out of your fridge just a couple minutes early. Just make sure you have a little bit of butter on each of your potatoes. We're then going to go ahead and add in some garlic, and I'm going to add quite a lot just because this is supposed to be garlic parm. So I want to make sure that that garlic really comes through in this recipe. And again, give it a stir with those potatoes. Make sure there's a little bit of garlic on all of your potatoes. And then we're going to go ahead and add in two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And I'm just going to kind of coat that over the potatoes the best that I can. And then we're going to add our seasoning. So first we have some thyme. And I did read the reviews on the recipe and it says go heavy on your garlic and heavy on your seasoning. Otherwise the recipe tends to be a bit bland. So we're going to go heavy on our seasonings. And then we're also going to add in some parsley. Same thing, we're gonna go pretty heavy with that. And then, of course, some salt and pepper. 
give this another quick stir and then we'll add in our chicken. So then the last step is you're gonna add your chicken breast right to the top of your potatoes. I am going to salt and pepper my chicken breast just so that they're not bland in the cooking process. You can always add additional salt and pepper when you go to eat your dinner as well. Just make sure you go kind of heavy handed on the seasoning. So salt and pepper my chicken and then we're gonna go ahead and put our lid on. Turn it to low for about eight hours. So our crock pot dinner is done. It looks really good. The potatoes are right down there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this plated up and I'll be back to show you guys my dinner and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner. So I have one breast of chicken and one serving of the little potatoes. The entire recipe only makes four servings. So it is quite a lot for the smart points. So one breast of chicken and one serving of potatoes, which is anywhere from six to eight of the baby potatoes. This entire dinner is eight smart points. Now, if you follow blue, it's going to be less due to the chicken. And if you follow purple, it's going to be very, very minimal in points. But for me on the green plan, this is going to be an eight smart point dinner. Thank you for joining me on this super awesome crock pot video. It was so fun to come up with these recipes, film them and share them with you. I hope that it helps you stay on track during this really busy time of year. Every recipe was absolutely delicious. I am going to link them all down in the description box below and there will be points for all three plans as well. Also in the description box are some of my favorite things, links, codes, discounts, to save you money on some of my favorite WW products that will most likely become your favorite WW products. So check out that description box below. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you take a moment and stick around, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'd love it if you'd give this one a thumbs up. And of course, comment down below. Let me know which of these recipes are you absolutely dying to try. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh -huh.